Well, a trip to Victoria Park is never a pleasant prospect for visiting sides, but when it team is playing poorly, it's something uh, to be dreaded. Such was the situation confronting Fitzroy this afternoon, languishing at the bottom of the ladder with one win from eight games. They were thrashed by the Swans in last Tuesday's night game, and even last Saturday at home had their colours lowered by the inconsistent, but at times brilliant Melbourne. For Collingwood, they were chasing four valuable points, but only eluded them narrowly, certainly, in last weekend's big clash against Richmond. Our commentators at Victoria Park this afternoon, Jack Edwards and Peter McKenna, and we pick up play in the first quarter at the five-minute mark. Uh, one player, Jack. Yeah, they're moving all right, but no, no one really has any break. Collingwood one point, and uh, Fitzroy not yet scored. Banks on the left foot, bringing the ball down to the half-forward zone. Coleman can't take the mark. Williams picks up, eludes his opponent on the left foot, goes toward Woodall. And Woodall with a ball in front of him. Up to the goal square, he goes, and Woodall. Collingwood's first goal, kicked by their full forward in Dale Woodall. And the time clock showing we've been playing nearly six minutes of the first term. Good play by Williams. Got the ball down on the half-forward flank. Let fly toward the vacant forward spot. Missed Woodall with the pass. But Woodall was quicker than his opponent, Serafini. Took advantage of his pace and got the ball within the square and kicked the goal. Yes, great play, as you said, Jack. That's the advantage of a lovely kick on the left foot by Mark Williams. And Dale Woodall, intelligent football, as he led Serafini under the ball and ducked back very, very quickly. The ball bounced from a good goal to the young full forward. In the centre of the ground, here's the chance for the Magpies again. As on the left foot, bring it right down towards the forward line was Abernathy. Woodall, a diving attempt, couldn't take the mark. In they go after it, kicked off the ground by Clayton. Back it comes to Laurie. Laurie over further afield towards his teammate there in Osborne towards the boundary line it goes and a nice mark taken there by Gary Wilson looking for a lead up he kicks oh. into his opponent Williams picks up again he'll look for Woodall or go toward goal he kicks long down toward Woodall who's dragged down by the arm will be a free kick to Woodall no doubts about that one so Serafini not getting away to a very good start Woodall's kicked the one goal that Collingwood do have at this stage and uh, Serafini dragged Woodall down by the arm. Yes, no doubt I agree with you. A good decision by umpire James because Woodall was in a good position to take that mark and uh, Serafini in desperation pulled him down and it was a free kick. Uh, these look easy shots, Jack, but they're not so easy on that slight angle. Oh, it should be pretty easy for Woodall this week because you've been coaching him during the week, so he should be able to kick goals now, Peter. Well, let's see He's what he does 15 with this metres out, Not even that. I'll blame you if he doesn't kick it. Now he kicked it, Pete. You can breathe again. <laughs> Woodall kicks his second goal and Collingwood's second goal. So they get away to a very good start on this beautiful autumn day here in Melbourne. Collingwood 2-1, 13 points. Fitzroy have not yet scored. Yes, a very good effort by Woodall. He used his body well. Got back there to get himself in the position for the mark. And as we said, in desperation, he was pulled down. But uh, a nice kick too by Dale Woodall. And the goal umpire didn't move. Two goals. And that'll give him a tremendous a amount. He should never yeah. have actually been dropped from the side, Jack. At the middle once again. The ball goes down. Coleman gets up. But he didn't get the knock. Was knocked out by Shaw. Hinchin's kick is smothered again. Collingwood smothering well early in the game. Thornton and Osborne go in to do the tackling. And the free kick will go against Morwood. So Morwood, that's a 15-metre penalty against Morwood. And that will be taken, as I said, by Thornton. Side bottom calling for the ball, but I think he'll look for Quinlan. Kicks high, fairly long. Quinlan underneath the ball, won't mark it because there's too many, there's three opponents there. Tony Shaw goes in, can't pick it up cleanly. Uh, been taken away on that occasion and hurried into the pack, but now it's been kicked back to the half-forward zone and the player doing all that work up there was Allen. Quinlan was the hurry kick there. Uh, Toomey being smothered, grabbed by... Gary Shaw, Gary Shaw has held on to the ball. Now he goes to Woodall. Can he get there? Oh, touched by Serafini. Good play. Woodall gets bundled out of the way. Now Banks. Dennis Banks a high kick up the side of the boot. Straight out of bounds on the full. But Collingwood looking good. And Fitzroy at the moment just leaving it to too few and running in ones instead of the threes and fours that Collingwood are. Well, that 